Okay, it says recording in progress. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room uh, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you'll join me. And of course, uh, check out the Rye calendar for all the other wonderful programs we have for children and adults and teens too. So here we go. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Are you going to help me sing? Great, great. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. Friends are very precious. They are, they are. <clears throat> And do you know what? I see something very special in the sky. Once in a while, you'll see one too. And it's called a rainbow, right? After it rains, and sometimes that rain is still falling and the sun comes out and makes a rainbow, right? Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Purple, blue and green, my friend. Yellow, so red, orange, and red at the end. Let's get that down here so that you can see it better. Okay. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Purple, blue, and green, my friend. Yellow, orange, and red at the end. Right. That's the rainbow. <clears throat> well, I see a ship here way out into the ocean or the sea. The ocean is a sea and the sea is an ocean. Different sizes, I guess, and different names, but it's still the same. The water is salty, right? I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea. And oh, it was so laden with yummy things for me. There was candy in the cabin and apples in the hole. The sails were made of silk and the mass was made of gold. The four and 20 sailors that stood between the deck were four and 20 white mice with chains about their necks. The captain was a duck with a packet on its back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, quack, quack. Can you quack like a duck? Hmm? Let's see, pretty soon we'll be walking like a duck. So here we go. <clears throat> I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea. And oh, it was so laden with yummy things for thee. There was candy in the cabin and apples in the hold. The sails were made of silk and the mast was made of gold. The four and 20 sailors that stood between the deck were four and 20 white mice with chains about their necks. Whoops. Uh, the captain was a duck with a packet on its back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, quack, quack. <laughs> he was a pretty funny fellow, I guess. Well, now we'll go and not to the sea or the ocean, but to a pond with fresh water, not salty water, right? But before we do that, Wizzy Wizard has a tip for all our caregivers. Very important. And the ability to retell a story is one of the literacy skills that um, uh, researchers say children need in order to learn to understand what they read. And using things around the house to play with as props, uh, it can help children remember a story and retell it in the sequence that it's it meant to be. Right. <clears throat> And in this, at this age group, it's the beginning, the middle, and the end. You know, three different phases, very simple. Right. So here we go. Ah, one of my favorite songs, The Little White Duck. And the lyrics are by Whippo. Um, but Walt Whippo. But the, um, <clears throat> and the music is Bernard Zaretsky and the illustrations by Joan Paley and the little white duck. And I used to love to listen to Burl Ives sing this song, but I have to sing it because I like it. 
So by all means, if you know the song, drown me out, please. And it even has the music here, which I'm not going to bother with. <laughs> There's a little white duck sitting in the water, a little white duck doing what he ought to. And what is the mouse doing? He's playing a little guitar, right? He took a bite of the lily pad, flapped his wings, and he said, I'm glad. I'm a little white duck doing what I ought to. Quack, quack, quack. Can you quack? Let me hear it. There's a little green frog swimming in the water, a little green frog doing what she ought to. She jumped right off of the lily pad that the little duck bit, and she said, I'm glad I'm a little green frog playing in the water. Glub, glub, glub. That's not like a frog here. There she is. Glug, glug, glug. There's a little black bug flowing in the water. A little black bug doing what he ought to. He tickled the frog and the duck so bad. Huh. He tickled the frog on the lily pad that the little duck bit and he said, I'm glad. I'm a little black bug floating on the water. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Ah, there's a little red snake playing in the water. A little red snake doing what he ought to. <clears throat> he frightened the duck and the frog so bad. He ate the bug and he said, I'm glad I'm a little red snake. I do what in order. Now there's nobody left sitting in the water. Nobody left doing what they ought to. There's nothing left but the lily pad. The duck and the frog ran away. I'm sad. Cause there's nobody left sitting in the water. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> well, my goodness. And here is this little mouse singing. And here is the frog. And I have a duck and the red snake and the bug before he got eaten. And that's what happens to bugs. That's why they're good. They're food for someone else, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we have a poem and the poem is by Lillian Moore. Until I saw the sea, until I saw the sea, I did not know that wind could sprinkle water so. I never knew the sun could splinter a whole sea of blue. Is it blue? Yeah. Nor did I know a sea breathes in and out upon the shore. Hmm? Can you pretend they are the waves coming in and out? Huh? Those are the wrinkles the wind is blowing. Until I saw the sea, I did not know that wind could wrinkle water so. I never knew uh, that sun could splinter a whole sea of blue, nor did I know before a sea breathes and in and out upon the shore. Poem by Lillian Moore. Well, goodness me, some of us have people that help us, and I do too. I have a little red hen, the prettiest you'd ever see. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She goes to the miller to fetch me some flour and is always home within the hour. 
She bakes me my bread and she brews me my ale and she'll sit by my fire and tell a fine tale. To tell a story, huh? You like stories, yeah. And this hen tells me stories. There we go. I have a little red hen, the prettiest you'd ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. Ah, she goes to the miller to buy, <clears throat> fetch me some flour and is always home within the hour. <clears throat> she <clears throat> bakes me my bread and brews me my ale, then sits by my fire and tells a fine tale. <laughs> well, here's another poem about a pool. It's a pool. And it tells about a frog too. So let's put the frog back. Okay. I'm gonna take the duck and the snake and the bug away. And I don't have anybody else. I need your imagination and the book, right? The book has beautiful pictures in it. So there we are. Down by the Cool of the Pool by Tony Mitt. And it's dancing. Do you like to dance, huh? So see if you can dance along with the story. Let's see, down by the cool of the pool. Now this is my book and my book got wet. And unfortunately, it sort of got damaged. So we have to take better care of our books, don't we? Especially the ones from the library, right? Yeah, we don't wanna leave them on the floor where the babies or the dogs are gonna chew on them, right? Or we step on them or we're gonna fight over them, right? And I happen to damage my own book which was very sad to me. Down by the pool in the cool of the day, frog cried, wee, can you dance like me? Look at that frog, he sure can dance. <clears throat> Duck came to see, oh, I can dance too, but not like you, I can flap. So Duck went flap and frog cried, wee, can you dance like me? Down by the cool of the pool. Pig came to see, well, I can dance tall, but not like you, I can wiggle. So pig went wiggle and duck went flap and frog cried, wee, can you dance like me? Down by the cool of the pool. And there they are all dancing away. She came to see, well, I can dance too, but not like you, I can stamp. So she went stamp, pig went wiggle, duck went flap. Frog cried, wee, can you dance like me? Down by the cool of the pool. Then up sprang cat with a sudden bound and dog came frisking round and round. Goat butted in with a skip and a hop, and Frog cried, wait, that's great, don't stop, and look at them all. Oh my goodness me. What fun those animals were having. Then playful pony began to prance, and, and donkey drummed his hoofbeat dance. But when it came to capering cow, <laughs> oh, Frog cried, Wow, all together now. There they are dancing down by the cool of the pool. With a stamp and a wiggle and a flap and a wee, oh, the animals dance so joyfully. Look at that. Oh, they were having a great time. Up till with a bump and a slip and a trip and a crash and a whoops, watch out and a topple, and a, where do you think they're gonna go? You're right, splash. Into the pool, they flapped, <clears throat> and they flopped, but did they stop? Out on a hot day. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they cried, oh. Ooh, wee, oh. <laughs> oh my, we're having fun dancing our dance in the cool of the pool.
I don't know about the cat. I sort of question this picture. Of it. And they splashed and splashed till their dance was done. Then they, then away they drifted and down went the sun. I'll go back to the barn. Right? Uh, as there by the cool of the ripply pool with a hop, hop, plop, even Frog was gone. Hop, hop, plop. However, they do sit out up there in the night and you hear them. Grum, 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 grum. There he is, all by himself. <clears throat> And let's see, frogs have different, different songs. Some frogs go beep, 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 beep. And some go boom, 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 boom. And some go yang, 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 yang. Well, this frog goes, huh. Yo gung went the little bullfrog one day. Yo gung went the little bullfrog. Yo gung went the little bullfrog one day. And his eyes went yunk, yunk. Young, can you do that with your eyes, huh? Your gun went the little bullfrog one day. Your gun went the little bullfrog. Your gun went the little bullfrog one day. And his eyes went young, young, young. <laughs> well, my goodness, let's see. Let's see what happens when it's nighttime, huh? It's nighttime. What happens? Sometimes the stars come out, sometimes they don't. <clears throat> and here we have something. Oh my goodness, what is she doing? She's sitting in a basket with a broom and she's up in the sky. You see that? Let's see. There we are. Closer, there she is. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. But where she was going, I just had to ask it, for in her hands she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, where are you going to up so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky. May I go with you? I by and by. I wonder what she meant by that. Hmm? What do you think she meant? I'll tell you, it's a secret. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. Where she was going, I just had to ask it, for in her hands she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, where are you going to up so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky. Oh, may I go with you? Aye, by and by. Mm -hmm. I guess she's like the Sandman. Make the night all nice and clean for our sleep. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, what do you think? No one ever told me, I'm just guessing. Well, let's see what we have. We have dancing feet. So how are your feet, huh? I have animals that are dancing too. Another book about dancing. And here you can do it with me, okay? This is by Lindsay Craig, Dancing Feet. Tippity, tippity, little black feet. Who is dancing that tippity beat? What do you think it is? Those little teeny feet? I think you've got it. Ladybug dance. <clears throat> Ladybugs are dancing on tippity feet. Tippity, tippity, happy feet. And there they are. Oh, aren't they funny? Ah, stompity, stompity, big gray feet. Who is dancing that stompity beat? Huh? Who is that? Ah, I think you got it. Uh, elephant is dancing that on the stompity feet. Stompity, stompity, happy feet. 
That's one happy elf elephant, huh? Ah, slappity, slappity webbed orange feet. Who is dancing that slappity beat? Who did I say we'd see later on, huh? Huh, who has webbed feet like that? Ha ha, ducks are dancing on slappity feet. Slappity, slappity, happy feet. Right, there has webbed feet. In other words, they're not like our toes and our fingers. They have skin between here to help them paddle. Right, nice paddles. Creepity, creepity, lots of <clears throat> purple feet. Ha, ah, who is dancing that creepity beat? What do you think that is? It has six legs, but it looks like it has a lot more. <gasps> Caterpillar is dancing on creepity feet. Creepity, creepity, happy feet. Well, he's pretty happy. Maybe he's going to turn into a butterfly pretty soon. Oh, thumpity, thumpity, a uh, furry brown feet. Now, who is dancing? On bumpy feet. Oh. Who is it? What do you think? Look at that footprint. Mm. Ah, oops. Hear me. There we go. Bear is dancing on bumpy feet. Bumpy, bumpy, happy feet. Oh, look, they made him out of cardboard. Look at that corrugated cardboard. Let's get the cute. Cute picture. Clickety, clickety. Ah, long green feet. Who is dancing on clickety feet? Mm, those little nails to climb up the trees. Ah, lizard is dancing on clickety feet. Clickety, clickety. Happy feet. There he is going up the stone wall. <laughs> and who else is dancing? Look, look, she has slippers on just like a duck. And there they are all dancing, right? Stampity, stampity, hear our feet. Who is dancing that stampity beat? We are dancing on stampity, stampity, happy feet. Creepity, tippity, thumpity, slappity, stompity, crickety, stomp, stampity. There, there we all are. And she has a little polka dot dress. So she's like the, the little ladybug, right? He has green pants on like the lizard. My gracious. <clears throat> That's by Lindsay Craig. <clears throat> well, we do have, we do have a moon. We have a moon up in our sky here. But look what else we have. We have the man in the moon. Look at that. There he is. There is a he, and his name is Aiken Drum. You know this song? We sang it before, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get this all sorted out here. A little bit messy. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> there was a man named who lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. The man, there was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. I forgot my ladle. Huh. And his eyes were made of what? Fried eggs, fried eggs, fried eggs. His eyes were made of fried eggs, and his name was Aiken Drum. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. As ears were made of oranges, oranges, oranges. His ears were made of oranges, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. <clears throat> was a man lived in, 
In the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his nose was a pepper, a pepper, a pepper. His nose was a pepper, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon the ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon the ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was a green pickle, a pickle, a pickle. His mouth was a green pickle, and his name was Aiken Drum. There was a man named in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aikandrum. I'm sorry, I forgot the ladle. I don't even know what that is. So we dip soup out with into our bowls. It's a ladle. And up in the sky, there's a form of uh, stars that, that form a big dipper. And it sort of looks like a ladle. Right, that's why it's called the big dipper. There's a little one too. And next week I'll have it. I'm sorry, I forgot that. However, I hope you're having a good summer. I'm having a pretty good summer. I had a lot of visitors last week and the week before. But they're all grown up now. So, but when my babies were little and my children were little, they played a lot. Do you play every day, huh? Or do you play on just Tuesdays and Fridays? Today's, uh, today is um, Tuesday for me, but it might be Monday for you or it might be Friday whenever you watch this, right? Could be any day. So here we go. How many days have my babies to play? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Hop away. Skip away. My babies like to play every day. Now, of course, you're not babies anymore, so let's say children, shall we? Hmm? Yeah, let's say children. How many days have my children to play? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Hop away. Skip away. My baby. My children like to play every day, right? And Saturday begins with a, an S, and so does Sunday. Monday begins with an M, and Tuesday begins with a T. Wednesday, that's an F, that's a W. But if I turn it upside down, it looks like an M, doesn't it? For McDonald's, huh? <laughs> and what's that? T for Thursday and F for Friday. Those are the days of the week. But you have names too, right? So days of the week have names. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. So let's let's say goodbye to our little red hen. So bye-bye to little red hen, and bye-bye to ache and drum, and bye-bye to our bullfrog. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to our singing mouse. And bye-bye to the white mice. And bye-bye to Granny Jean, it's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to all my friends. I hope to see you tomorrow, or maybe the next day, or maybe next week. What do you think, huh? Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>